Mic check one, two, and two. It's your man, Tony XP Ivory, aka Mr. Everywhere. You know how we do it, WRUG Media. Now, do you like those unboxing channels? You know that channel that shows you on a weekly basis cool products that you thought about buying but you didn't know how they work. Well, look no further. You can watch them right here. And before we go any further, I'm just. Hold up, I'm not cleaning that up. I'm too swagged out for that. Hey, but check this out. If you wanna learn more about all the great products from electronics, hey, even food, you can check out my homies channel right here. Scott, you ain't gotta go nowhere. Just click right here, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Why? Because the little guy told you so. I'm Mariah Huck from Married to Medicine, and you're tuned in to WRUG Media. Well, WRUG Media fans, I've checked my email, and child, it's blowing up about reality TV's newest Queen Bee. She is a show creator, producer, and yes, star of TV's newest reality TV show, Married to Medicine, on Bravo every Sunday night. How are you, Miss Mariah Huck? I am fabulous. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for being with us today. Congrats on the ratings for the first episode. It's my understanding that Married to Medicine received 1.9 million viewers last Sunday, hitting all the network's key demographics and becoming the highest rated premiere for a non spinoff next to Bethany Gets Married back in 2010. Congrats. Thank you so much. This is definitely an exciting time. I can only imagine. Now, tell us, Mariah, how did the concept for Married to Medicine come about, and how were you able to become a producer on the show as well? Well, the concept came about because of, it's something that I birthed years ago when um, my husband was in residency. My background is journalism and producing, and I just had a feel for writing, and I just felt like people needed to see the inside world of, you know, of medicine. I think that we see Gray's Anatomy, we see private practice, but you know, we very rarely get to see the sacrifices that, that are made in the medical world by some of the doctors and, and their families. So, you know, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show the world exactly how much sacrifice goes into supporting someone who's in the field of medicine. Absolutely, and I'm sure there's a lot of sacrifices for you and your family, given that, am I correct, your husband is an ER physician, correct? Yes, he is. He's an ER physician at two different facilities, so he works like two ER full-time job, so he works a lot. I can only imagine. Now, I'm going to get right to the tea, honey. Will this show so be... Oh, the tea, honey. It sounds like you got some. <laughs> now, we're going to see if you, we can get you to spill the tea. Um, will this show be full of drama, weed snatching, drink throwing, or will it be a little bit subdued and full of always well-mannered PR coach, Dr. Watt? Well, I think you have a little bit of both, and I think that's what makes our show so unique and so balanced. I think that all of us are pretty, you know, um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a sharp group of women. But I think with that being said, it's a real group of women. I mean, you can look at people like me and Quad and see that, you know, as much as we've grown, we still are very real to who we are. So I think you'll get a little bit of, you're definitely going to have some drama. It's full of drama, but I think it's full of a lot of other things, like seeing people with their families and seeing people in their businesses and, you know, seeing that it's out of the six women, five of us are African-American wives, college-educated, you know, entrepreneurs. So I think it's a lot, and I think that people will be really happy with the amount of balance that we show. Okay, okay. Now, yourself, Dr. Simone, and Quad are all representing Tennessee. Is that, yes, <laughs> is that friendship connection between you three? Is that the friendship, excuse me, connection between you three, or is that just kind of like an added bonus to, to yes. you guys' that's, friendship? That's, that's actually an added bonus. Um, you know, I connected all the ladies, all of them. I'm, you know, I'm the nucleus, and all of them were my friends outside, you know, in different areas. Um, Dr. Simone actually delivered my daughter, my first child, um, eight years ago. So she just so happens to be from Tennessee. Quad is from Memphis. I'm from Chattanooga, but we both went to the same college, but at different times. I'm older than her. So it's just an added bonus, Tennessee thing. It made us closer, though. 
Awesome. Well, you know, we have a connection as well, then, because I don't know if you're familiar, but WRUG Media had its start in Memphis, Tennessee. That's where our headquarters is, even though we have affiliates all over the United States. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, are the allegiances on the show perhaps doctors against wives, or are there any allegiances on the show? Oh, absolutely. And it's, it's not just the doctors. I think you'll see one of the doctors and one of the wives, or a couple of the wives who kind of has that I'm better than you attitude. Oh, okay. Well, definitely something yeah. to look forward to. Now, other reality shows concerning wives or ex-wives of highly successful men have received a lot of flack as it relates to the images of African-American women and how younger generations may receive them, and specifically the idea of marrying rich and the importance of lavish material things. What do you have to say about the potential effects of your show and how it could perhaps affect the self-image, self-worth, and ambition of young girls? Well, I think that it it will absolutely empower them and impact them only in a positive way. It should because the thing about it is, like I said, out of six women, five of us are college-educated. All of us um, are professional women. I think all of us married our equals, and that's the beauty of it. And we were able to support you know, our husbands going through medical school and as well as still have uphold our own careers. And that's what I have a daughter. I have a daughter and a son, and that's what I teach my kids, specifically my daughter, to be her own person, have her own identity, and to be able to create that work-life balance. And so I don't think that this is the equivalent of marrying a guy that could shoot a hoop. This is, I mean, this is, you, you have to be able to support a, a man that's educated, been through medical school, and I mean, most of them want an educated woman themselves. So, you know, it's not just, we're not just trophy wives. We are professional, polished wives and and mothers. Okay. And entrepreneurs. (laughs) Definitely. Now, as you've already stated, you're more than just a successful man's wife. You're so many more things, Ms. Mariah. As I understand it, you operate two businesses, correct? Yes, that's correct. Tell us a little bit about those two businesses, what they are, and and so forth. Okay, well, Mariah Media Group is um, the company that I kind of operated and started writing, where I'll be producing more projects from. Um, And Jewel and Jim, I'm the co-owner of that. My sister and I own it. It's a multicultural children's decor pajama line. It's home decor and pajama line, and we're currently launching that into Macy's. J.C. Penney's and Sears. It definitely sounds huge, and and it definitely sounds like some great things to look forward to from you. Now, many of our fans and followers are um, intrigued by relationships, um, even more so multicultural relationships. Give us some insight on the ups and downs of maintaining a strong multicultural family in the South and the effects it has on your your marriage and and your parenting. Um, I think that it has really been a positive driving force in our relationship with one another, you know, being from multicultural marriages, because initially everybody does not, everybody does not accept you with open arms. So it causes you to be closer together. And I think parenting wise, um, it works for us as well, because we, we, really, really teach our children about different cultures and how important it is to love people from despite of where they're from or, you know, what their religion is. So we really, really teach our children to be universal. I think the, the tough part about it is is the outsiders. It's not us. We're, we're happy in our marriage. It's other people that want to put us in the box, you know, because my husband grew up Muslim, I grew up Christian, they want you to pick one, or they feel like, what you know. So I think it's other people. I think it's the world that want to make you be something instead of, you know, accepting that you've merged your lives together and they work. Okay. Now, your husband, Dr. Aiden Huck, he is from Bangladesh, mm-hmm. correct? Yes, that's correct. And from what I hear, you started your own culture. You, yes, ma'am. Bangladeshi? <laughs> Blackadeshi. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a perfect example of us merging things together. I cook Indian soul. I do macaroni and cheese. I do curry chicken. I mean, we we celebrate Eid, we celebrate Christmas, we do Easter, we do you know, we do it all. So mm-hmm. and and it works for us. It works for us. And it, it brings out the best in both of us. So we enjoy it. 
awesome. Now, there's a little game I'd like to play with you, Mariah. When I say the name of one of your castmates, I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. Dr. Zaki. Sadiddy. <laughs> Toya. Oblivious. And quad. Fun. <laughs> Great. Now, there's all this buzz online about you and Miss Quad's lingo. And for those who may not be up to speed with the diva language that you guys share, please expound on the definition of a few of those sayings for me. Now, I, I heard on the first show you guys were saying, catch that dirt. Explain to our listeners and our fans and our viewers what catch that dirt means. Oh, well, catch that dirt just means are you listening? Did you get that? You need to listen. You need to hear what that person has said because they are definitely throwing some shade or you, you need to listen to them. So catch okay. that dirt means listen to that. And I heard Ms. Quad say, throw up their life. What is, what is that? Well, that's, look, that's actually my saying. To throw up your life means that they can just, really go to hell or forget, you know, you're not listening to what they're saying, you, you forget you. In other words, it means forget you. Okay. And the last one, no tea, no shade. No tea, no shade means if you don't give me anything, then I don't have to throw you any shade. Like, no tea, no shade. I understand that one. That That's a motto I live by myself. <laughs> no tea, no shade. No right. Tea, no shade. I, I might have stole it. I'm going to steal that one from you. <laughs> Right. Well, you, can, well, you, can, you can use it, honey. It doesn't matter. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, with all the positive reviews from Married to Medicine, um, you said you do plan to create and invest in other shows. Will there be other reality shows that you're looking to get into? Well, I'm open to it, you know, if it's the right thing. But right now I'm looking at doing more docu-series, a little bit closer to the documentary-style things is what I'd like to do. Okay. Awesome. Well, Ms. Mariah Huck, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today, and we thank you for giving us the tea. Thank you. Thank Tell our you. fans how they can keep in contact with you. Well, they can keep in contact with me by going to my blog at www.iluvmariah.com. They can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at iluvmariah.com. And always check me out on Facebook at Mariah Huck. Doc, at Mariah Huck. So they can make sure they, they keep up with the tea, honey. Honey, we go going to sure make, <laughs> make sure that they do, okay? Because we'll be watching okay, and we'll be spreading the news about Mary's and Medicine. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs>